In the world of medical advancements, genotropin has emerged as a breakthrough hormone therapy. This video delves into the science behind genotropin, exploring its works, uses, and potential side effects. So, if you've been curious about this hormone therapy, you've come to the right place. Understanding the Science Behind Genotropin Genotropin is a synthetic human growth hormone used to treat various medical conditions, such as growth hormone deficiency and Turner syndrome. By supplementing the body with growth hormone, it helps regulate growth, metabolism, and cellular regeneration. But how does it work? Using a recombinant DNA technology, genotropin is developed to mimic the actions of natural growth hormone in the body. It stimulates the liver to produce insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, which acts as a mediator of the hormone's effects. This process is crucial for the growth and development of bones, tissues, and organs. The recombinant DNA technology involves inserting the gene responsible for producing human growth hormone into a host organism, typically bacteria. The bacteria multiply and produce the desired hormone, which is then purified and formulated into genotropin. This method ensures the availability of a consistent and pure form of growth hormone for therapeutic use. It's important to note that genotropin should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They will determine the appropriate dosage based on the individual's specific needs and closely monitor the treatment to ensure its safety and effectiveness. How Genotropin Works in the Body Once administered, genotropin enters the bloodstream and binds to specific receptors on target cells. These receptors trigger a series of biochemical reactions that ultimately lead to the production of IGF-1. IGF-1 plays a crucial role in promoting cell growth and division, as well as regulating metabolism. One of the primary effects of IGF-1 is its role in stimulating the growth of long bones in children and adolescents. In individuals with growth hormone deficiency, genotropin can help promote linear growth and increase the final adult height. It can also improve body composition by reducing body fat and increasing lean muscle mass. In adults, genotropin can be used to treat growth hormone deficiency that persists beyond childhood. It helps improve overall well-being, increase bone density, and enhance muscle strength. Additionally, genotropin has been used off-label for conditions such as short bowel syndrome, prader willi syndrome, and chronic renal insufficiency. Medical Uses of Genotropin Genotropin has a wide range of medical uses, with its primary indication being the treatment of growth hormone deficiency, GHD, in children and adults. GHD is a condition characterized by inadequate production of growth hormone, resulting in stunted growth and various health issues. In children with GHD, genotropin can help stimulate growth and development, allowing them to achieve a more normal height. It's usually administered until the child reaches their final adult height. The treatment is initiated and monitored by a pediatric endocrinologist, who carefully assesses growth patterns, hormone levels, and physical examinations. In adults, genotropin is used for the treatment of growth hormone deficiency that persists beyond childhood. This can be caused by various factors, such as pituitary tumors, radiation therapy, or genetic conditions. Genotropin helps improve quality of life by reducing fat mass, increasing muscle mass, improving bone density, and enhancing overall well-being. Aside from growth hormone deficiency, genotropin is also used to treat Turner syndrome, a genetic disorder that affects females. Turner syndrome is characterized by short stature, delayed puberty, and certain physical features. Genotropin can help promote growth and development in girls with this condition, allowing them to achieve a more typical height. Potential Side Effects of Genotropin As with any medication, genotropin comes with potential side effects. It's important to weigh the benefits against the risks and consult a healthcare professional before starting genotropin therapy to ensure it's the right choice for you. Common side effects of genotropin include joint pain, swelling, and injection site reactions. These reactions are typically mild and transient, resolving on their own or with minimal intervention. However, it's essential to report any persistent or severe side effects to your healthcare provider. In rare cases, genotropin may cause more serious side effects, such as increased intracranial pressure, allergic reactions, or pancreatitis. These side effects require immediate medical attention and should be discussed with a healthcare professional before starting treatment. It's worth noting that the potential side effects of genotropin may vary depending on the individual and the specific medical condition being treated. Therefore, it's crucial to have regular follow-up appointments with your healthcare provider to monitor your response to the treatment and address any concerns or side effects that may arise. Dosage and Administration of Genotropin 
The dosage and administration of genotropin depend on several factors, including the individual's age, weight, medical condition, and response to the treatment. It's essential to follow the instructions provided by your healthcare professional and not exceed the prescribed dose. Genotropin is typically administered through subcutaneous injections, which means it is injected just below the skin. The injection site should be rotated to minimize the risk of injection site reactions. Your healthcare provider will guide you on the proper injection technique and provide detailed instructions on how to prepare and administer genotropin. It's important to store genotropin as directed by the manufacturer and dispose of used needles and syringes properly. If you have any questions or concerns about the dosage, administration, or storage of genotropin, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider for clarification. Precautions and Contraindications of Genotropin Before starting genotropin therapy, it's crucial to discuss any pre-existing medical conditions, allergies, or medications with your healthcare provider. Certain conditions may contraindicate the use of genotropin or require close monitoring during treatment. Genotropin should not be used in individuals with active malignancy or a history of cancer. It should also be used with caution in individuals with diabetes or a family history of diabetes, as it may affect blood sugar levels. Additionally, genotropin should be used cautiously in individuals with kidney or liver problems, as it may exacerbate these conditions. Pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should not use genotropin, as its safety during pregnancy and lactation has not been established. If you are planning to become pregnant or suspect you may already be pregnant, it's important to inform your healthcare provider. Frequently asked questions about genotropin. Is genotropin safe for children? Yes, genotropin is safe for children when used under the guidance of a healthcare professional. It helps stimulate growth and development in children with growth hormone deficiency or Turner syndrome. Can genotropin be used for anti-aging purposes? No, genotropin is not approved for anti-aging purposes. It should only be used for medically indicated conditions under the supervision of a healthcare professional. Are there any drug interactions with genotropin? Genotropin may interact with certain medications, including corticosteroids and sex hormones. It's important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications you are taking to avoid potential interactions. How long does genotropin therapy last? The duration of genotropin therapy varies depending on the individual and the medical condition being treated. It can range from several months to several years, with regular monitoring and adjustments by a healthcare professional. Comparing genotropin with other growth hormone therapies. Genotropin is just one of several growth hormone therapies available on the market. Other brands include Norditropin, Humatrope, Sizin, and Omnitrope. While these therapies share a similar purpose, there may be slight differences in their formulation, delivery method, and dosing options. The choice of growth hormone therapy depends on various factors, including the individual's specific needs, the prescribing healthcare professional's expertise, and the availability of the medication. It's important to discuss the options with your healthcare provider to determine the most suitable therapy for your condition. Conclusion: Is genotropin right for you? Genotropin has revolutionized the treatment of growth hormone deficiency and other related conditions. Its ability to mimic the actions of natural growth hormone in the body has provided countless individuals with the opportunity for improved growth, development, and overall well-being. However, like any medication, genotropin comes with potential side effects and requires careful consideration. It's essential to consult a healthcare professional who can assess your specific needs, discuss the risks and benefits, and guide you through the treatment process. If you believe you or your child may benefit from genotropin therapy, don't hesitate to reach out to a healthcare professional specializing in endocrinology or pediatric endocrinology. They can provide the necessary evaluation, guidance, and support to help you make an informed decision about this remarkable hormone therapy. Thanks for watching.